We're going to begin with Donald Trump pleading not guilty to all the charges. The former president going before a federal court judge in Washington, D.C. just a short time ago. The judge reading Trump his rights and laying out the penalties he could face if convicted. I would assume reporter Jim Dolan live in Washington, D.C. with all the new details. Jim. Bill, the clerk read the title of this case out loud in court today. The United States of America versus Donald J. Trump. The magistrate read the counts Trump is charged with. He pleaded not guilty. The magistrate told Mr. Trump that if convicted on all those counts, he could face 55 years in prison. Mr. Trump said he understood that, but ever defiant, he spoke to reporters just a short while ago. Uh, when you look at what's happening, this is a persecution of a political opponent. This was never supposed to happen in America. This is the persecution of the person that's leading by very, very substantial numbers in the Republican primary and leading Biden by a lot. So if you can't beat him, you persecute him or you prosecute him. We can't let this happen in America. Thank you very you much. Donald Trump arrived in Washington this afternoon and with a wave to the cameras was taken by motorcade to the federal courthouse. He went in, surrendered to the authorities there and submitted to fingerprinting and appeared before a judge, his third arraignment this year. And his supporters were outside to show they are still with him and that they think the system is rigged against him. As a taxpayer, you know, you want to make sure that your tax dollars are are going for fair across everywhere. All criminals, no matter what party affiliation, no matter who they are, no matter what color, what gender, anything like that. That's really how it should work, and it's not working that way right now. And a few came, too, who are happy to finally see the former president held to account. Relieved. I'll be more relieved when I see, you know, justice served, but... Does justice involve hand handcuffs? I hope so. No violent or even loud demonstrations in Washington, at least not yet, as the nation turns its attention to this latest indictment, the first one with charges related to Mr. Trump's alleged actions while he was president. And if the case ever gets to trial, the star witness will be his own vice president, who says Trump asked him to violate his oath. President Trump uh, and his advisors uh, didn't just ask me to pause. They asked me to reject votes, return votes, essentially to overturn the election uh, and to keep faith with the oath that I made to the American people and to Almighty God. Uh, I rejected that out of hand and I did my duty that day. And that's Mr. Trump's own vice president. In fact, most of the witnesses in this case will be registered, lifelong, dedicated Republicans who voted for Trump, who wanted Trump to win this election, but did not sign up for overturning the will of the people. Mr. Trump uh, left here just a short while ago. He is headed back to Bedminster and the campaign that lies ahead. Reporting live from Washington, Jim Dolan, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Historic day, Jim Dolan, thank you. And stay with Eyewitness News and ABC News as we continue to follow this latest arrest of Donald Trump.